Now we are preparing for the Jose wine tasting. This is our treasure cave. The temperature and moisture is just perfect for wines. We are doing themed wine tasting every Sunday afternoon. And this afternoon we will drink seven different Hosato wines with our guests. This is a Pinot Noir from Castello di Titignano. It's one of the finest uh, rosé wines of the area. I call always my Swiss knife because it pairs so well with nearly every food that you are serving. It's made from Gamay del Trasimeno, so uh, it's a Grenache, a rosé from Grenache. And this is a rosé made from Sagrantino. And now our representative of Sangiovese, Maria Grazia from Lago di Corbara, a rosé from Sangiovese. Whereas the Levelette winery, which produces Monaldesco, does not disclose of which grape is made from. But uh, a good guess is it will mostly from uh, Sangiovese. And now we are coming to the outlier in this tasting, not from Umbria, but from the market. It's called Petaloso, and I'm not sure if Petaloso is only the name or also an autochthonous grape name. Um, otherwise, my doubt is that the grapes are Lacrime di Moro d'Alba, because it's just from this area. Uh, and this is a very interesting wine, and we will come back to this later. Okay, we are in the middle of our rosé wine tasting, mm -hmm. our chief wine taster, Nixi Wang, and our guests from Estate uh, Wentisei, um, Mikil and Larissa. Larissa. And we, we will keep you informed about what we are getting out, about our six wines that we already introduced. French are often more accessible, easy, light. Ro French have a slightly sweeter, ro rose-like, um, the Provence, we all know that, and it is delicious. Uh, the Spanish goes a little heavier on the, on the flavors, maybe the full gusto. This is somewhere in between, where you get a bit more orange rind, mixed with rose petal. It's, it can be quite fabulous, and we've, we've tasted a, quite a variety with some, some very distinct flavors, the Petal Rosso, some very elegant, the uh, Titignano, was it? Titignano? Yeah. And there's uh, others in between the, uh, what was our number five over there? Gamma Trasolino. Which is really quite elegant. The, what's the name of the wine, uh, Nitsi? Machiavello. Machiavello, yeah. And it's really, it comes out almost as the, the best of the bunch, so to speak. Umbria. Umbria is also a difficult region to sell. You know, yeah, because no one knows it. Yeah. You know, it's you the idea the, that you must maintain the, the law. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, is, this is all in the context. Names are everything in wine. Yeah. You don't yeah. sell a wine because it's good. Have another drink. <laughs> yeah, I have two which I like very much. Okay. I will always buy. It's uh, the Matavello, which is, is my Swiss that? knife. Uh, I drink. Very I, nice. I, I, and I can, I can imagine. I, I, I think this is a. It's got the French grapes. And and I fall in love this summer with the Petaloso, because this is a wine that has uh, a lot of uh, of flavor. Flowery. Uh, and, and it it has not. It doesn't need a lot of alcohol to be no. uh, to have a very substantial uh, no. uh, taste. Part of this has to be done in Anfora. And, and this is uh, Tenuta San Marcello, uh, a, a good approach, doing some wine, natural wines, without going into ideology of only producing natural wines. Now everyone is gone. I will have a taste of everything again. The first one is a Pinot Noir. It has very light berry flavor and uh, with a hint of cream. So I think this wine will go well with any food made with cream, soft cheese, and the berries. The producing region of the second one and the first one are very close. They come from neighboring villages, but this one is made of Sangiovese and tastes quite different than the first one. 
it's more full-bodied, has lower acidity, and has a hint of nuts. The third one is a Rosato coming from Mac Marque. It is a fragrant wine, means it has a very uh, concentrated floral and fruity flavor, almost piercing. This wine goes very well with barbecued meat or sausages. This one is mainly made of Sangiovese. It has complex fragrance and flavors in different directions. It has perfect structure and well-balanced. This one is made of Gamay Trasimino. It's actually a ganacha. Comparing to Rosato made of Sangiovese, Sangiovese or Pinot Noir, this one is more full-bodied and um, has less acidity. It's fruity and spicy and structured. It goes very well with spicy food and the deep-fried things. This one made of Sagrantino grape. Very structured, almost tastes like bacon. I guess I will drink it with some fatty salamis, hams, prosciuttos, or maybe pancettas. This is a bubble wine made of Pinot Noir, Champagne method. Tastes as good as a normal champagne, but costs like a third of a normal champagne. The bubbles are very fine and persistent. This is the wine our guest bring us. It's a nice Sangiovese blend. It's elegant and balanced and with a kick of spice. Welcome to join us next time. Chin chin.